Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ruben here from Denim Boutique. Thank you for following us and subscribing to us and I'm hoping that this session here will be of, of benefit and of value to you as well. The topic that we're going to discuss today is what you need to know before starting Invisalign or braces, basically any orthodontic treatment. Now, we've, we've been getting so many questions about what to do and, and why Invisalign versus other treatment modalities like veneers and crowns or, and so on and so forth. So the main thing about Invisalign or braces, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say orthodontics in general, is that you need to know why you want to do it. Before you embark on any of this orthodontic treatment, there are five key factors that you need to look at to ensure that you know that you are you're going down the right path. So what I'd like you to do is when you look yourself in the mirror, I would like you to really look at a smile and evaluate your smile based on these five parameters. Number one, are you happy with the size and the shape of your teeth? Number two, are you happy with the color of your teeth? Number three, are you unhappy with the alignment of your teeth? Number four, what do you think about width of your smile? And number five, your smile line. Basically, the edges of your teeth in relation to the lip line, your lower lip line. So the thing is that when you do any orthodontic treatment, we can help with a three out of the five areas that I've mentioned. Number one, we can help improve the width of a smile, meaning we can help broaden the smile. Number two, we can help with the smile line where we can, we can sort of line up the incisal edges of your teeth against the lower lip a bit better. And number three, aligning your teeth, meaning that your teeth are crooked, we can get them straight. Orthodontics will not help with your size, shape, or the color of your teeth. So before you start to think about whether you want to do orthodontic treatment, whether it's Invisalign or braces, when you look in the mirror, develop your smile objectively. So if you look in the mirror and you're happy with the size and the shape and the color of your teeth, and are not happy with the alignment of your teeth, orthodontic treatment would be something that you should consider. Uh, so there's something that before you see a dentist, have this in the back of your mind in terms of what you're trying to achieve before you start the treatment. Because a lot of times, we get a lot of patients that come, that, that after they've done orthodontic tr treatment with a different provider or dentist, and they come in feeling disappointed because their needs and concerns weren't met. Now, the reason why this is not, is not because the treatment was done incorrectly. The treatment was done perfectly fine. But the issue is that it wasn't communicated to the patient that at the end of the treatment, your size and the shape of the color of it or the color of teeth will not be corrected. So a lot of times the teeth are straight, but still a bit they're still a bit chipped or very yellow, or sometimes the side teeth are too small. There could be multiple things that, that the patient may not be still happy with, but wasn't known beforehand. So think about what you're trying to achieve with this before you start your treatment. Now, the second thing before you start your treatment, assuming that you've decided, look, great, as you've seen a doctor or your dentist and you want to proceed with the orthodontic treatment, the next thing you need to do is to ensure that your gums are healthy. Now, if you haven't done a clean for a good 6 to 12 months or longer, and you've got visible amount of plaque and calculus or some gingivitis or some gum disease, you need those rectified first beforehand. Now, the reason is because when you've got calculus and stuff built up around the teeth, a few things happen. Your teeth will not move efficiently, meaning that they move a lot slower compared to teeth which are clean and healthy due to, number one, friction. There's going to be more friction in between your teeth when you've got more calculus and plaque. And number two, unhealthy gums is not a conducive environment for your teeth to move in. So your treatment time due to the friction or the unsuitable environment to move your teeth would mean that you need longer time to move your teeth which isn't something anyone wants to, uh, wants to experience. So make sure your gums are healthy and get it checked. Number two, ensure that your teeth are healthy, meaning that if you've got any holes or decay or any pathology in relation to your teeth, get those fixed first. Because the last thing you want to happen is that while you do your Invisalign or, or, or braces treatment, you want to make sure that the treatment goes smoothly and in a continuous manner. There's no point doing things midway and finding out you've got a toothache or you've got some root canal needs to be done or the filling has gotten, gotten so big, there's a risk of infection of the tooth. So you want to, you want to actually maxim, minimize all of these issues so that your treatment goes on smoothly. And to minimize them is to by removing any source of infection, a pathology or tooth decay before you start your treatment. All right, so you need to have that as an understanding background. Now, some patients want to do is they understand that while that's 
the limitation of the orthodontic treatment, they know that at the end of the treatment, then they'll be looking at veneers or some sort of por well, porcelain or composite veneers to then correct the size, shape, or the, if the color is an issue, to do some teeth whitening. So having this information beforehand will be helpful because it allows the, the dentist or the orthodontist to really plan the movement of the teeth. So for example, if your teeth are quite small, meaning that your side teeth are smaller than what it should be, when we do the Invisalign or the braces for the patient, we would then want to leave some space in between to allow us to place some composite veneers or porcelain veneers so that the smile becomes a lot more symmetrical in size and shape. Okay, so um, discussing this, your concerns with your, with your provider is really important before you embark on a journey. So when the patient sees us for any form of orthodontic treatment, we will go through these five key points to ensure that the patient understands the limitations of, of, the, of the treatment. So to summarize everything today, there's three key factors to, to understand what you need to do before starting Invisalign. Number one, the understanding what you want to achieve with the result, whether you are correcting your size, your shape, color, alignment of the teeth, the smile line, or the width of the smile. Number two, ensuring your gums are healthy and, and there's no debris or calculus stuck around. And number three, the health of the teeth. Hopefully this, this has been helpful and productive for your time. If you've got any friends or family who's, uh, who's not certain about what to do with the teeth, please send us our video so that they've got a bit more information and hopefully you can help them in their process and their journey as well. If you'd like to, maybe click and subscribe to the link below as well so that you get a bit more information with what we're doing and hopefully we get to provide you more and more educational content for your future. Thank you and see you soon.